Hi, I'm Jessica. Thank you for attending this presentation. We are a Spanish company. In 2012, we met a startup that aimed to clone Mint.com in Spain. They had been able to develop everything themselves except the extraction of balances and bank transactions. We accepted the challenge because we found no solution that worked like we thought an API for banking should. It should support high concurrency, it should have good response times, it should be able to add new banks quickly, and it had to be easy to use for developers. Our motivation was that we thought we were capable of doing something that did not yet exist. So we developed our API. In the absence of a banking standard in Spain, as in most countries, we had to start basing our solution on the scraping. From the very first moment, we started developing our own scraping engine from scratch because we discovered that the major problem of existing bank aggregators were due to dependency on third-party technologies. In these two years, some of the major banks have started serving data through APIs using its own implementation of web service based in JSON or XML. So at this time, we get the data either by scraping or by diverse APIs, and then we provide a standardized response. This way of starting was a great advantage. In fact, it is the greatest competitive advantage we have, since our API works with all 34 banks in Spain, and we are able to add new banks within hours. The API extracts balances and bank statements, as well as the type of banking products. It supports thousands of concurrent connections, and the response is always in the same format, regardless of the name of the bank or what country it's in. But perhaps the most innovative part is that the API not only reads data, it also operates, and wire transfers happen immediately. This means that wallets and payment gateways can use bank accounts as if they were credit cards, getting the response from the bank and money immediately, and avoiding the commission of the credit card. To understand it better, I'll show you a one-minute video at the end of this presentation. If what I've told you was of interest to you, these are our contact details, and we'd be happy to talk with you and answer any questions you might have or discuss new possibilities or ideas. Now, I'd like to show you the video of the API running in a live environment. With our API, aggregatorfinanciero.com, bank transfers are possible. From the lower right window, we call to the API using the command curl. In the upper left is written the script for this video. In the top right, we have a connection to the website of the bank, where we see the current balance. And in the lower left, a VNC connection to the iPhone where we will receive an SMS sent by the bank to confirm the transfer. The first call has collected the answer bank. Introduce some positions of your password. In the second call, we introduce the answer and the bank will send the SMS to the phone to confirm the transfer. On the third call, we introduce the keyword of the SMS and get the answer, reporting whether the transfer was successful or not. As you can see, the response is immediate. We transferred one euro. We see already discounted in our overall balance and the movement of the transfer we just did. For any bank, the way to proceed is the same. Thank you.